And I took the job as the junior writer on uh, the Tennessee Ernie Ford show. And my job was, uh, the part of it that I remember most, it might have been the only job, was to write an opening monologue for uh, Ernie Ford. And uh, talk about clutch and talk about blocks. And uh, I remember so clearly uh, the, the, the monologue was due at 9 o'clock the next morning for a table reading. At midnight I, uh, or so, I'd be on the phone with my shrink, having vomited uh, for 20 minutes and wept for two hours. And, uh, and you know, after a few minutes of whatever the hell he did for me, uh, I would finally sit down and write the bloody monologue, uh, monologue and, uh, and, and, and go in with it, you know, fearful as could be. Uh, and find it well accepted. T tell us what kind of a performer uh, Ernie Ford was. Is he a country performer? <laughs> I'd forgotten your note earlier to remind you people from 50 years hence. Tennessee Ernie Ford was a, uh, had, a, had a big hit record. He was from Tennessee and he was a country fellow, had a big, deep voice. And he had a big hit with a song called 16 Tons, was it, or something like that. And, uh, and he became a personality, uh, much, uh, you know, in, very popular. And they built a show around him. Bud Yorkin and Roland Kibbe built a show around him at the request, I think, again, of J. Walter Thompson. And he was wonderful. And so he did an opening monologue. We did some scenes, and uh, how could a Jewish kid from Connecticut write monologues for uh, for a country singer from Tennessee? Well, these Jewish kids from around the place have written all kinds of things for all kinds of people in all kinds of centuries. So it, it wasn't that difficult. Ernie Ford was such a powerful personality. You you know you picked it up. You you were as nervous as a long tailed cat in a room full of rockers, but you still, that's a, a joke from that period, uh, and his kind of a joke, but you found your way to doing them. <laughs> was he talented? Was he genuinely oh, er Ernie talented? Ford was very talented. He was very talented in the limited way, which was, a, you know, perfect for the television show he did and for the audience that, you know, cared to see him. But the most important, significant thing, uh, aspect of that whole uh, time for me was the influence that Roland Kibbe had on me as a writer. Because Roland Kibbe was a wonderful, wonderful writer. And having been written screenplays, he had a sense of form which applied to the briefest sketch as well as the longest uh, teleplay or uh, screenplay. And I learned as much as I've learned from anybody far more from it on a practical way from uh, Roland